goodness. Hello. Oh, my. You sounded just like my mother-in-law there. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Um, and and I, I do hope my spouse is listening because, yeah. Hi. <laughs> I miss you, honey. Oh, sorry. That's um, your spouse. I don't have one. You, uh, uh, <laughs> my, mother, my mother-in-law. God love her. She was a, she was a card. She was she was. Well, she produced an amazing human. She did. She did. <laughs> she did indeed. You know what, Clay? Tell me what. We should have a podcast episode like right now, like while people are listening. Wait, what? Yeah, you should tell a story, and then there should be a punchline, and there should be a break for snacks. I and, mean, let's see what happens. And people laugh. Wild and- finger. <laughs> wi- wild fingers. <laughs> wild thing. Wilder things have happened. <laughs> Wild Fingers. It's going to be my new chain restaurant. Wild Fingers. <laughs> and we serve kangaroo meat. <laughs> you serve. Oh, for that, you have to go to T-Rexes and kangaroos. kangaroos. That's a whole other thing. Wild Fingers. Tell us about a Wild, wild Finger. Wild thing. Um, you make my heart think. Yeah, speaking of good music, I don't know. Um, tell me. Tell me more. Th- so, I'm curious how in... Um, the world of of higher ed and mm-hmm. and healthcare and in donor relations, mm-hmm. your your world, how you vet, not veterinarian. Oh, I was like, we have vet schools, not yes. veterans, but mm-hmm. how you vet, um, you know, the the people that you want to be associated with, the people that you want to work <laughs> with, because like I don't know, have you ever had that experience where you get like a really incredible offer and it just sort of comes in and you're like. <gasps> This money is dropping out of the sky, or this donor relationship. If it's relation too good to be true, it usually and, is. Yeah, and you're just, you know, they called us, and life is grand, Mm-mm. and this is going to be Mm-mm. wonderful. And then you find out. I've fixed so many messes, Clay. And you, 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 that's why they call you the Olivia Pope of exactly. fundraising. Exactly. Um, and, and you just, it's just, this is fantastic, and you set all this stuff up, and then somebody looks up and goes, you know. Did you read the newspaper about him from five years ago? Huh? <laughs> so let's see who's it. Yeah. So this great new windfall turns out to be um, a convicted um, sex trafficker. Oh, that's inappropriate. Well, and there's another word for it, but I won't use it. But it's four P-I-M-P. letters. And that's the one. Mm, I said it. Yeah. So and you then, can maintain your then, integrity. And then you sort of have to backtrack and um, uninvite. Uh, this person. They were coming to one of your events? Oh, and doing an event and just all of these. Yeah, there was a, a whole convicted felon party. Lot in motion. Yeah. Whoopsies. Yeah, that was, um, you know, and now personally, it never happened to me. Of course not. Um, I may or may not know of an institution that shall remain unnamed who was having a, uh, an alumni reception in Mexico. Okay. And, um, uh, the consulate, that's what, where they were having it, Okay. informed them that, because you have to send the list in advance because it's a consulate, right? Oh. One of the <clears throat> parents ran a cartel. Oh, my God. Okay, then. <laughs> well. So, speaking of uninvitations. <laughs> uninvitations. 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 What, you know, yes, what a hard thing to have to do to uninvite true i mean absolutely true yes um but but there's there are ways to do it right and then there are ways not to do it i got a story for you oh dear oh dear is this gonna make me laugh Uh oh so the funny part (laughs) about events is they put you in some very funny situations like the time I had to deal with the spouse and the mistress at the same event. But that's a different Been podcast. Been there, done that. Uh, we need a- Six inches of century-old muck cleaned off the floor of a warehouse. Three hours before the event started. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Yep. Um, I've cleaned toilets and, and yep. taken cigarettes out of... Yep places that i don't want to talk about but the my uninvitation story is one that kind of (laughs) i've had gay (laughs) lazine calls basis (laughs) i got gay lazine low places (laughs) where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases wow okay anyway hey my blues away uninvitation but i'll be okay (laughs) um if you're looking for the whiskey it's in the coffee cup after the event because that's where the bartender puts it for me and i walk around without my shoes on in uh, a coffee cup 
Oh. All this to say, I got contacted by a woman and she really didn't know what to do. Okay. And she was in a really, she was really emotional. She had spent nine years uh-huh. working at a nonprofit in a certain place. Nine years of her life. Okay. At, at the beginning, she didn't know anything about the mission or the cause, but came to grow and love the organization. I love that. I know, right? Yeah. I love that. And all nine years, she was a donor. Okay. Yep. Oh, so, so she, okay, so she didn't know, but she worked there nine years, donated. And, Every year. And worked there. Okay. And in the seventh year, she uh-huh. decided that the organization was so important to her. Uh-huh. That she would make a planned gift. Not that all her other gifts weren't planned, but place that organization in her estate. Oops, I made a gift. Right? Unplanned gift. An un- <laughs> We're not going down that route, Clay, because you're going to lead me to 16 and pregnant. I'm just saying. <laughs> so she ma- what unplanned just pregnancy, move unplanned just go, gift. Go, okay. go, go, just keep so going. So she made a, pl- <laughs> a made a gift in her estate and put that organization in her estate. The place where she worked. Yeah. Okay. That's how much she cared That's for the mission. Beautiful. Mission that, yeah, yeah, and she doesn't, you know, not a woman of particularly sure. strong means, you know, any of that good Which stuff. Which is where most planned gifts come Absolutely. from. Absolutely, <coughs> loyal donors. <coughs> <clears throat> but she decided to place them in her estate, and after her nine years, she was approached by another uh, organization uh-huh. in the same community. Okay. And they offered her a position to work there. I mean, she had, you know, like. <clears throat> almost 10 times average tenure of a fundraiser. Exactly. So, like, no baby giraffes here. She she worked her way yeah. up. Yep. They recruited yeah. her and she ended up accepting the position at the other, organization. at the other organization. Okay. Same or same neighborhood. You know what I mean? Same like great city. Okay. Different organization, different mission altogether. Okay. Oh, um, it's not even in the same. Oh no. One healthcare, one education or like one food bank, one animal welfare. Got it. Okay. Right. Right. Completely. Yeah. Now that doesn't mean that there aren't donors that they both share, but complete different missions. Sure. Right. Okay. So she accepts the position and um, two weeks in to her tenure there, she gets Uh an email from the big boss at her former job. Okay. The place where she was a donor, Uh nine year employee. I'm sure she made the planned gift. Yep. Yep. And the email states that, um, Thank you for your RSVP to the plan giving reception that we invited you to oh, when you nice. were when you were employed. You got an invitation because all nice. plan giving donors got an nice. invitation, but that they were rescinding the invitation. Wait, what? They were rescinding her invitation and could no longer RSVP her, or, meaning she could no longer attend the reception for plan giving donors. Now she had not rescinded her estate, right? That she could no longer attend the reception because it would be a conflict of interest. What? And that she would be in a room with their donors. And she's at a, another nonprofit organization. <sighs> and they have set a policy now that she is no longer invited to any of their Wait, event. they set a policy? They set a policy. About one person. Correct. Apparently, they've never had anybody leave them before or something crazy. I, I mean... <sighs> So this poor woman, not poor, but you know what I mean, poor, this individual yeah. wrote her former employer and said, I don't understand. What have, yeah. I, have I done something wrong? Have I of contacted course. one of your donors inappropriately? Yeah. She's two weeks on the job. Yeah. She hasn't even found the bathroom. <laughs> she hasn't signed up for benefits, you know? And I promise you, nobody has given her a login to the CRM yet. No. So, yeah. So, and she's uninvited. From an organization she worked at for nine years and left in good standing. It's not like they fired her. They didn't walk her out. And they didn't. No impropriety. Nothing. And so she wrote back and said, I find this to be unfair and not very donor focused. How could you uninvite me? Yeah. I, 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 I'm a donor. And they said, well, it's unacceptable. You can't come. We're standing on our principle. And how dare you, you know, think that you can be in a room with our other donors. Oh, wait. What? They. Mm-hmm. Turned it back to back on her. And so she contacted me, obviously upset. Yeah. 
<laughs> she contacted me because I'm dun, 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 solve it woman. <laughs> and speaking of solve it, Gladiator. I have a problem. Well, um, I actually need to do something here because it involves I, my tummy. Fundraising is funny. I need some shit. Um, and but I'm having feelings, and I need to eat my feelings okay. on this one for a minute. Let's eat our feelings together. Y'all grab a snack. Yeah. And eat your feelings about the fact that this woman, who's a nine-year donor and left them in her state, then moved organization and was uninvited. Grab a snack and feel that one out. I take it back. I have created a new policy for myself. You're not invited to my snacks. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> That's not true. I'm going away. I could never uninvite you from Schnacks. And we're back. I ate my snack alone in a corner in the library. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> kind of oh. gave me some flashbacks to the high school, well, but that's back. fine. Snacks flashbacks? Well, I didn't eat lunch in the cafeteria, if you know what I mean. I wasn't a popular kid. So. Mm, same. Yeah, I was a Spanish Same. teacher that took me in, and that's why Spanish stuck. The art room and the theater room. Yep. Life Safe place for us kids who weren't yeah. cool. So, all that to say, <sighs> um, so, so we were talking about the woman. Lynn, this is not funny. No, but you know what? It's real. Yeah. And what's yeah. funny is the ego of these asshats Ooh. to think, oh, Ooh. I said it. Gloves are off. Gloves are off because I'm an Enneagram 8. I'm a defender of those that have been wronged and harmed. And this woman gave her resources, gave her time. That was her career. And they assume negative intent that she's going to go in that room and hand out her business card and be like, come over here. I've got better donor p- lapel pins. Like, Now, can I just interject? Of course. I do know people of people who do work to get on gala invitation lists oh, so that they can go and, and I quote, schmooze other donors for their organization. But has this woman demonstrated that behavior? Well, there you go. There has you go. this yeah. woman ever done, did she rescind her gift? Did she make any gestures to say that she was coming for their donors? And it's a plan giving thank you reception. So these, all these other people have already made planned gifts. Right. So does she think she's going to be like, hey, 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 Pete, take them out of your will and put us in your will instead. <laughs> I've got an attorney who will do it at a discount. You know how that trust is irrevocable? Irrevocable, <laughs> my Talk ass. Talk to me about how you can. All trust are revocable. Mm-hmm, baby. Ah. We could form a revocation club. <laughs> We're the revokers. We're th- Come join the revokers. Oh. I've got pins. You oh. know, like the thought, the abomination, and then them standing behind it. And so she came to me and she goes, What do I do? And doubling down on it. Oh, they just not tri- even, this but, is Vegas, and they just walked out their last 20. To be clear, this did not happen in Vegas. No, no, no God. No, no. Yeah, yeah. No. Um <sighs> and so she says to me, What do I do? And I said, well, the first thing I would have done is contacted the head. And she goes, I did. And here's their response. And I went, oh, wait a minute. What? And then she sent me their response. And it was the most cold, calculating, callous, horrific response I've ever seen. I There's somebody. <sighs> and it's not ha-ha funny. This is a community of people. And so what did I tell her to do? What do you think I told her to do, Clay? Resend her gift. You damn right. Let's they don't deserve her as a donor. And she might believe in the mission, but there are other organizations that have similar missions that we, I said, I'll help you find one that'll invite you to anything you want to come to. But who are you? You're going to deny somebody, first of all, some smoked Gouda. <laughs> don't deny me cube cheese, first of all. And second of all, you didn't even have a discussion with her beforehand. You sent her an email rescinding her invitation. You sent her an email. The funny part is that these leaders thought that an email would be the appropriate way to tell a donor to get bent. I, 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 they thought that it would be appropriate to tell a donor to get bit. Period. Right? Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lay this on the line. Let's do it. No donor owes any charity money. No correct donor owes anybody anything. It is their money. 
for them to do with as they decide and they wish. Yeah. And I'm specifically talking about individual donors, right? Yeah. Grants, foundations. Yeah. Anyway, different story. Ish, different story. But even so, no donor owes anybody anything. And where did we get this attitude in the sector that, that donors owe us? That mm -hmm. we are entitled to that support? I have no clue. Now, listen, I don't love... As you know, that there are billions of dollars sitting in DAFs that donors have gotten tax credit for that are not moving on right. uh, to charities. Makes sense. And I do personally think that the whole DAF system kind of needs to be, but it's their money. Right. It's their money. <sighs> that, but that woman did not have to give as an employee. She did not have to make a planned gift. And it's a, it's a reception, like, okay, and, right? Yep. But it's the principle of it, isn't it? Yep. And it's the, what's the word? Just the ego that you would think, uh, anyway, I don't, you know. And yeah. here's the text of the email. Uh -oh. In case those of you, I've got receipts, like they say on Real Housewives. <laughs> I hope you're well and settling into your new role. I understand that you were due to attend the Legacy Guild afternoon tea next week. Oh. As you're now in a role at another charity in the locality, senior management feel it would be inappropriate for you to attend, and I have therefore been asked to rescind your invitation. Apologies for any inconvenience this might cause. Apologies for any inconvenience. I'm not inconvenienced. I'm pissed off. And you're rude. Right? And then the head says... Regarding your invitation to the event, however, while I regret the insensitivity of inviting you and then rescinding the invitation, I have to say that I'm in agreement with the senior management team who made the decision that it would be injudicious to, injudicious. Inv to inv invite someone actively working as a fundraiser for another charity to the event. I concur with the view that there would have been a professional conflict of interest and that your attendance would have been... Um, Oh, the attendance and that of a guest would have presented. Given your current status as a fundraiser for a different local institution, my understanding is that while formal mechanisms are not required when moving from one institution to another, it's widely regarded as accepted practice not to invite those peers to events, if even if they're donors themselves. I don't know about that. I've never heard of that. I, we would never be able to go to an event then, Clay. No. For anybody but the one I was currently working at. That seems, and I'm a donor. Like, that's the type of speech they said to her. That is how they spoke to her. It is generally, okay, all right, so, okay. So, <sighs> what? I'm very, very sad. I'm very, I very sad. My heart breaks for her. For this colleague, right? This is a colleague in the profession. Yeah. Who is. Fellow fundraiser. Now, unfortunately, on the receiving end of really crappy. Can you imagine receiving that email? Two weeks into your new cried. job. I would have cried. She would have cried. She shed a lot of tears. If, especially for an or where, where did we I'm lose? I'm rescinding our offer of an invitation. Where did we lose sight, Lynn? That people, giving is human. People giving are good. Irrational, giving is irrational. Giving is emotional. If we can't accept those three precepts, we need to leave the profession because and I'm sorry that this isn't funny. And I know you turned into tuned into fundraising is funny. And I promise we will leave you with giggles. <laughs> but if we can't get those three precepts that then we don't I, I deserve to wanna, be in this profession. I kind of want to give and get invited to their event and then like hold up a sign like where's with their name on it. <laughs> see, I am. Because I'm that kind of person. Well, I'm and, petty and spiteful. See, yeah, and I'm I'm a member of the Sweaty Betty Petty Club, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> right? Like, and I want to be like my I, gym. My gym trainer is the pettiest she's amazing. person on the planet, and I adore her for it. And when I am like pouring sweat down my you know my eyeballs and lifting heavy things over my head, she's like saying something petty about something, and I'm just dying <laughs> laughing. But uh, I just want to do something. I, you know, I want to write a letter. You've been rescinded from well, our profession. I want to like. Their leader. You know, I want to like, you know, write an intent for a planned gift. And then as soon as they send me the paperwork to find out, I'd be like, psych. Just kidding. <laughs> You're rescinded. You're rescinded. <laughs> like, and again. <laughs> we need Alanis Morissette's uninvited playing in the background <sighs> right now. 
We just need, you know what we need? We need to lift up this person. I did tell her. I said, I, so I went to yeah. five or 10 different colleagues and said, you've moved institutions, you've moved, or like the city of Boston would not, like fundraisers in the city of Boston in, in the United States. Yeah. It wouldn't exist. The way they move from Harvard oh, to BC to no. BU to, no, to no, Emerson no. to, anyway. I mean, like literally MIT to, do, do, do. They, anyway. they wouldn't be able to go to their own alumni functions. But that's how we, but, yeah. Um, like, who are you? Who are you to assume that she's going to be there petting donors? And I mean, it's a tea for God's sakes. <laughs> I mean, put on a fascinator and get over yourself. <laughs> We're, just, we're, we're gonna need t-shirts what, put on a fascinator and put get on over a your fascinator sale. and get over i mean yours. it's not like there was a king or queen in attendance it's it just boggles my mind that as a profession are you so afraid so of short-sighted your, are you so, so afraid, afraid of, of your, your donors are you no are you so afraid of your donors you don't trust and your donors you don't trust your donors not at all you don't believe in the loyalty of your donors and their belief <laughs> in your mission if you think they can be poached at a t you know <laughs> at a tea. I mean, not even at a sit-down dinner, but a tea. I mean, give me an hour at a gala and yeah. Yeah, but... maybe. I'll show some leg. And... <laughs> <laughs> and if you saw my legs right now, you'd be like, mm, I don't think that's going to cut it, Lynn. You might need to shave. <laughs> my, thank, my thank you notes are better than their thank you notes. Right? Like, I mean, I'll lure them away with my lapel pin. <laughs> I've got coasters that you haven't seen before. My lapel pin meets brand guidelines. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> mine says made in China, but I took that sticker off. <laughs> Only the finest silk for my, you know. It just, it boggles oh. my mind that she was good enough to be employed, but you don't trust her around your donors and you don't yeah, trust your years. donors. You trust right? her for nine years. So what's the punchline here, Clay, of this sad, whole, un uninvited, <laughs> I mean, you started out with... <laughs> There are certain people we should uninvite, right? Like our PIMP and yeah. other, you know, maybe this person who runs a cartel is not someone great maybe. to have in an event. But this woman had done no wrong. Okay. She was not convicted of anything. Okay. No malfeasance. Big word. <laughs> malfeasance is good it's word. It's a good one. It's good. The upshot here is be. And I'm pausing so that our colleagues that edit this will beep this out. But be kind. Be kind. Be generous. It's a tea. She's not going to eat you out of house and home. You know, another response to her would have been, yes, you could resend your gift, or yes, you could go and eat your weight in tea. <laughs> right? I would, what if she just showed up? What could they do I to her? What could they do to her? I think at they, this stage could in my they, life. Like, see, I'd show up. Right. With a fascinator. I on. think five years ago, I would have yeah, been uh, like. Because I'm trying to keep my job. And I'm sure and, she, she, uh, you know, she's probably a lovely lady, too, all, and is all, polite, right? And kind. At this stage in my life, I think I'd show up. I, I think I'd just. I'd show up in sequence with Tupperware. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your board members do it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, I would show up and I'd be like, you're going to have to kick me out. Yeah. We're going to make this awkward and we're going to make this public. Oh, and I'm filming. I brought a friend over here and he's got a GoPro. I mean. I, and so, I think, you're going to have to tell me to leave these premises. And I think the upshot, too, is we have to look at this in context of people who have been employees, who have been kicked out of organizations and discriminated against. And, right, for, for no fault of their well, own. It's discriminatory other than, against her because she's a fundraiser. Well, that's just it. Right. That's just it. I mean. Like. There are better reasons to discriminate against me than being a fun. I'm sorry. Is your organization so well staffed and so well funded that you can afford to? Obvi. Obvi. As the young say. Hi, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> we love the young. We're just not here. <laughs> Julie, our producer, who is She's amazing. Young and vibrant. And remember those days? And so here's the punchline. Be kind. Open your doors. And if you're going to open your doors, let them in. Yeah. You know, um, I once had so an event. Best. I had once had an event in the alumni center on a campus and a gentleman who clearly was not on the invitation list uh -huh. was came in to the event and he was hungry. Uh -huh. And so I said to him, Hey, if you can just wait, uh -huh. if you can I've got a I've got an office in the back you can wait in, or you can sit out on our patio. Uh -huh. I'll take care of you. And he was like, Seriously? And I was like, Oh, yeah. Just don't don't mess up the event for me, dude. Like my boss is here, and he was like, "I said, 
I'll take care of you. Yeah. And I said, and I'll try to take care of you in as sooner rather than later. And he goes, okay. And he went to the back porch discreetly. Uh-huh. He didn't talk to any guests. Like, he, it was cl- obvious that he wasn't meant to be there. Sure. Right? I don't need to go into more detail. No. So I went back into the kitchen, got to go containers, went and didn't go to the buffet. I went to the troughs in the kitchen and filled them to the brim. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I grabbed sodas out of our personal fridge, uh-huh. put them all in a discreet bag, and walked yeah. them to the back porch and said, here's what I've got. Thank you so much for being respectful. I said, but, you know, we, we're a private event, and I'll get in trouble with my boss if you could just. And he said, I'm so grateful. I've had a really bad week. And I said, I hope sure. your week gets better. Sure. I said, do you need anything else? Well, see, there we go. We don't know what's going on in other people's lives. So I think I think for me, the full upshot here, the full like punchline is do your research. <laughs> right? Don't invite cartels. Hey, just one member ahead. Whatever. Whatever. Do your research. Don't invite know who people please. are. And then be kind. Be kind. Do your research and assume the best. So Yes. We want to tell, we want you to tell us, yes. did you ever have an uninvited guest? Like an animal run through your <laughs> event. Did you have somebody show up that you didn't expect? Somebody's ex-wife, ex-husband. Mistress. <laughs> That's a whole nother episode. Did you ever have an awkward situation with a former colleague at an event? Tell us. Fundraisingisfunny.com. We are so grateful for each and every one of you. And we will never uninvite you to our you party. You are always, always invited. Unless you start a cartel. And then we're we're gonna have to discuss it and see how much yeah, money you have. But for <laughs> <laughs> fundraising is funny; it's always got to have a budget. I'm just saying. So uh, for now, you are you're welcome to our tea, even if you don't wear a fascinator. Uh, and bring your Tupperware. Absolutely, come get the snacks. We're gonna need merch. Bring your Tupperware. Yeah, we're gonna need Tupperware with 50. friends. Take care of yourselves. Bye, everybody. Be good. Be kind.